Hello. In today's video we will make a phone call to specific phone number using Arduino Uno and GSM module on Proteus software. We will make the full simulation and Arduino code from scratch. So do not forget to subscribe if you think this content is useful and you can also comment out if you got any ambiguity or if you need any assistance, our team is glad to help you. First you have to download GSM module Proteus library from the link in the description or from our Telegram channel and you have to include the library onto specific folder which you can see on system, system setting, library folder. Or you can see the video in the description to add library to Proteus software. After adding the GSM module to the Proteus software you have to restart the software to make everything working fine. After all open the software and search for GSM and Arduino Uno and make the circuit connection as shown on the diagram. We will use virtual terminal for the sake of visualizing the output on the Proteus simulation software. Here GSM module has hex file when we use it on Proteus software, so we have to upload hex file for the GSM module and Arduino microcontroller separately. The hex file for the GSM module is included on the downloaded library. After uploading the hex file for the GSM module, open Arduino IDE and write the Arduino code or copy and paste from the first comment section of this video. Then compile the code and upload the hex file onto the Arduino microcontroller. On the Arduino code my serial is used to interact the Arduino microcontroller and with GSM module serially. ATD is a GSM command which used as a dial command to call for a phone number which will be specified on the Arduino code. Although do not forget to include you country code while writing you phone number onto the Arduino code. ATH is also another GSM command. This command is used to disconnect remote user link with the GSM module. Or to hang up call in this case. So after a delay of 2000 or after 2 second the call we be hang up. You can increase or decrease the duration by changing the delay parameter. Now run the simulation to see the expected output. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.